Golders Green Crematorium and Mausoleum was the first crematorium to be opened in London, and one of the oldest crematoria in Britain. The land for the crematorium was purchased in 1900, costing £6,000, and the crematorium was opened in 1902 by Sir Henry Thompson. Golders Green Crematorium, as it is usually called, is in Hoop Lane, off Finchley Road, Golders Green, London NW11, 10 minutes walk from Golders Green Underground Station. It is directly opposite the Golders Green Jewish Cemetery. Golders Green is an area with a large Jewish population. The crematorium is secular, accepts all faiths and non believers. Clients may arrange their own type of service or remembrance event and choose whatever music they wish. The crematorium gardens are listed at grade I in the National Register of Historic Parks and Gardens. Topic history Cremation was not legal in Great Britain until 1885. The first crematorium was built in Woking and it was successful. At that time cremation was championed by the Cremation Society of Great Britain, Cremation Society of GB History of the Society, 10 May 2019. This society was governed by a council, at that time led by Sir Henry Thompson, President and Founding Member. There is a bust to his memory in the West Chapel of Golders Green Crematorium. Out of this society was formed the London Cremation Company, which has its offices on the premises, who desired to build a crematorium within easy reach of London. The crematorium in Golders Green was designed by the architect Sir Ernest George and his partner Alfred Yates. The gardens were laid out by William Robinson. The crematorium is a red brick building in Lombardic style and was built in stages, as money became available. The crematorium opened in 1902 and was finished around 1939, although since then some buildings have been added. Since November 1902 more than 323,500 cremations have taken place at Golders Green Crematorium, far more than any other British crematorium. It is estimated that the crematorium now averages around 2,000 cremations a year. The funerals of many prominent people have taken place there over the last century. Ironically, the ashes of the first person cremated at Woking, Mrs. Jeanette Pickersgill, died 21 April 1885, widow of artist Henry William Pickersgill, were removed from Woking to the East Columbarium at Golders Green, according to Woking's cremation records. The chimney of the crematorium is located within the tower and the building is in an Italianate style. The 12 acres hectares of gardens are extensively planted, and produce a beautiful and tranquil environment for visitors. There are several large tombs, two ponds and bridge, and a large crocus lawn. Another notable feature is a special children's section, which includes a swinging bench. There is also a communist corner with memorials to notables of the Communist Party of Great Britain. There are two cremation chapels and a chapel of remembrance. There are also three columbaria containing the ashes of thousands of Londoners and residents of neighbouring counties. There have been 14 holders of the Victoria Cross cremated here, and there are locations and memorials for many other military personnel of all ranks, and from many countries. Largest among them is the Commonwealth War Graves Commission Memorial, commemorating 496 British and Commonwealth military casualties of both world wars who were cremated here. Designed by Sir Edward Moff, it was unveiled in 1952. Built in Portland stone with names listed on three bronze panels, it stands at head of an ornamental pond at the western end of the memorial cloister. At Christmas, a Christmas tree is erected in the field in front of the main buildings. Although the crematorium is secular, a nativity scene is also placed near the Chapel of Remembrance. Topic: Notable monuments. The crematorium gardens are listed at Grade I in the National Register of Historic Parks and Gardens. 
The Philipson Family Mausoleum, designed by Edwin Lutyens, is a Grade II asterisk listed building on the National Heritage List for England and the Crematorium Building, the Wall, along with memorials and gates, the Martin Smith Mausoleum and Into the Silent Land, a sculpture by Henry Alfred Pegram are all Grade II listed buildings. Topic. Visiting. A map of the Gardens of Remembrance and some information on persons cremated here is available from the office. Staff are available to help in finding a specific location. The Columbaria are now locked, although they can still be visited, if accompanied. There is also a tea room. Topic. Notable cremations Topic. Ashes at Golders Green Crematorium Among those whose ashes are retained or were scattered here, are Topic. Ashes taken elsewhere after cremation Among those cremated here, but whose ashes are elsewhere, are Gallery <laughs>